let's start. So we're going to begin standing so that you can see the screen. And whenever I do a movement, you're just going to mirror me. So when I bring my arm out, you'll be bringing your left arm out. It's my right arm, but it's your left arm. And then we would change sides like that. So just like you're standing in a mirror. And um, let's begin with our feet just a fist distance from each other. So when you look down at your toes, take your fist and go down and put the fist right between the toes. Come back up to standing. This will line your knees and your ankles and your hip joints and your sit bones. Let's start in a Tadasana, which is where we spin our palms towards the screen. We draw the muscles together between the scapula, the rhomboid muscles. Let's, let's close our eyes for a moment. Feel the length of the arms, the rootedness of the feet, the length of the back of the neck. And take a nice full inhale in through the nose. And let's exhale out slightly parted lips. So when we inhale, let's let the breath flow in through the nose. When you exhale, breathe out like you're fogging up a mirror, a ha sound. Breathe in through the nose. Exhale out with open mouth, ha. One more inhale through the nose. And exhale. Gently open the eyes. Spin the palms in so that the palms are just facing down, fingers are facing down. On the exhale now, let's tuck the chin and look at our belly button. So that's a subtle stretch for the back of the neck. And then let's inhale and gaze up, front of throat long, back of neck has no wrinkles, gazing at the sky. Exhale, tuck the chin, gaze down at your belly button. And inhale, gaze up. Front of throat long and back of neck has no wrinkles. One more, this time exhale as you gaze down at your navel. Let's bend our knees a little bit and slide our fingers down to right under the kneecaps. Draw the belly button in towards the spine. Release the arms from the, away from the knees. And let's make outward circles of our arms, just like the arms are dangling in the shoulder sockets. Spinning the arms and Rolling, massaging the muscles around the upper back. Reverse that motion so it's an inward stir of the arms. And then we'll still the arms, slowly roll up, shoulders and head the last thing to come up. Let's bring the arms out to the sides and flip your left palm up. The right arm palm stays down. Turn to gaze over your left palm. Now change directions. The right palm flips up, the left palm flips down. Turn to look over your right palm. Let's inhale, change sides. Looking left, left palm up. Change sides, looking right, right palm up. One more time, so it's an internal and external rotation of the shoulders. Bringing the head center now, let's have both palms up and inhale and bring the arms up towards the ceiling as we gaze up. Exhale, bring the arms down, palms together in front of your thighs, gaze at your navel. So we'll inhale the arms up, we're greeting the day, the outer, outer sun. And then we exhale and bring the arms down, palms in front of the thighs. And when we look at the navel, we're looking at our inner sun. So we inhale, gaze up, relating to the outer world, and we exhale and gaze down, and it's like we're gazing down into our inner world. Inhale the arms up, and exhale. So this is the oscillation and the sun salute in yoga as we greet the day and the outer world, and then greeting like our inner sun, our inner world, which is at our navel. One more time, inhale up. And exhale down. Return our head center. And we're just going to start a little knee bend where we, meet, we bend our knees, keeping the heels on. 
on the floor and the knees line up with the toes. And when we straighten the legs, keep the weight in the ball of the foot. So you inhale as you go down and you exhale as you straighten up. Inhale, breathe in through the nose and exhale. Feel the length in the back of the neck. Inhale and exhale. All the standing poses in yoga, we need to be aware of where our knees are, our ankles and our hip joints. I'd like you to keep with this motion. I'm just gonna to come towards the screen for a moment because I'm seeing some chats. Some people might be trying to tell me something. But I want you to keep with this knee bend and straight. Weight is always in the ball of the foot. I'm so sorry about that. Is that better? I'm so sorry. We're going to bend and straighten. Bend and straighten. Bend and straighten. One more. Bend and straighten. Let's stand with the feet wider than the hips now. Fingers point towards each other, thumbs out. We bend the knees and we stick our tail up and our head up so we're arching our back. And then exhale, round the spine and look between the legs. Inhale, tail goes up, snake through the spine, gaze up. Exhale, round, look between the legs. Inhale, as we snake through the spine, we're just massaging the back. And round, we're drawing our navel in, cinching the waistband, toning the abdominals. One more, inhale, tail goes up and head goes up. And exhale, round. From here, turn the feet open, press your hands against your upper thighs. And as you do, you can really lower the tailbone and weight shift a little bit from foot to foot. So it's an inner groin stretch. Good, centering your pelvis now Look over your left shoulder and press back. I'm sorry. I got my directions mixed up. Look over your right shoulder. Anyway, whichever side you're doing, change directions. And change. And change. Coming center, we'll straighten the legs up, toe heel in just a bit and stand in a capital letter X position. We'll bend the knees, bring the arms out to the sides and lower the arms. Then we'll inhale, straighten the arms right up to the center. So we exhale down and we inhale up. Exhale down and inhale. So you can exhale out your slightly parted mouth, lips, soft jaw and then inhale through the nose two more one more reverse the pathway of the arms through the center out and up the reason I'm starting with standing work today is I've had some people say they've been sitting so much for their work in front of a computer that just beginning standing and moving can be helpful to get connected with the body. One more time. Let's return the arm center. Bring our toes facing now the mirror. Bend the knees. Take your hands around your pelvis and trace a big circle, sending your tailbone first to the left. Circle the, the tail back to the right towards the screen. So big circle, inhale and exhale. Breathe in through the nose and out the mouth. Your torso just follows in response. So the tailbone is the driving force. It's driving, carving a circle. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. One more. Now reverse. Breathe in and out. Notice if there's anywhere that doesn't make a curve, like where there's just a line, like a stop sign. Try to round through every part of this motion. Two more. One more. 
Good, centering, let's walk back into a parallel position. Tadasana with palms forward, zipping up through our low abdominal area. Inhale the arms up, bring the palms together over the head. Press the palms together firmly. And then as you do, bring them down in front of your heart center and sit like you're sitting in a very low seat. Very low down. Feel the breath in through the nose and out the nose now, yogic breath, four times. So here the lips are sealed. The tongue is resting on the roof of the mouth. Two more. On the next inhale, let's bring the arms up and release. Let's tuck the chin, gaze at the belly button now, subtle stretch for the back of the neck. And we'll rotate a big circle with our chin, first going to the left. We inhale on the first part of the circle, look over the left shoulder, look over the top, over the right shoulder and center. Three more like this. Opening the eyes, feeling where your gaze, your drishti it's called, in yoga, Sanskrit, for your focus, your gaze, noticing what the eyes see as you rotate through your cervical spine. Changing directions four times. Inhale in the first part of the circle, go up over the top and exhale center. Inhale in the first part of the circle, go up over the top and exhale. So up over the top means that you're not crunching the back of the neck. You're not collapsing the cervical spine. I'm just going to come forward to see how everyone's doing. Good. One more. Return the head center. Good. Now we're going to sit like we're sitting on a low seat. As we do, take your hands and put them on your butt bones. So touch your butt bones. Sit low. Feel where those butt bones are. They should line up with the heels. The heels are pretty narrow now. It's just a fist distance between the big toes. Then you graze the floor with your fingertips and as you come up, big shrug of your shoulders. Inhale down, sit low. Feel the back of the legs fire as you come up. So this is strengthening our uh, Utkatasana chair pose, helping us feel the back of our legs active. Also rotating through the shoulder girdle. Same thing now, but fingertips on the shoulders and make a big circle with your elbow. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Notice that you're sitting down with weight in the heels rather than the ball of the foot. Feel the connection between your heel and your sit bone. One more like this. Now same thing, but now we'll sweep the arms down to the floor and out and up. Breathe in as you go down, exhale out and up. Good. Really sweep into the back space. Let's wiggle our fingers, like kind of wiggle through the fingertips to feel that distal energy all the way out our arm. One more like this. And now when we go down, look at the belly button. And when we come up, look at the ceiling. So you're putting your spine in flexion when you go down and extension as you come up. Wake up the spine and let your gaze move towards the belly button and towards the ceiling. Towards the belly button and towards the ceiling. Two more. One more, good. Returning center. Now, final thing, I'm gonna turn to the side. When you go down, feet are wide, you're gonna stick your butt out, slide your hands to the floor, let your head rest over. Heavy head. Widen the feet and weight shift from foot to foot. Bend one knee and then the opposite. 
with your hands on the floor, sort of trace a uh, if infinity sign. So you reach towards one ankle and then you just sweep across to the other ankle. You're bending one knee and then the other. Good, finishing, let's center it out. Place the fingertips on the floor. The feet can be whatever, however width is comfortable. Your knees can be bent, fingertips on the floor. And then rest your head over so you're in a forward fold. Feel the in-breath into the side lungs. And as you exhale and empty, draw your navel towards your spine. One more like this, inhale. And exhale. Good, we're gonna place our um, right hand down in front of our face, our palm down. And we'll spin the opposite arm up towards the ceiling. Look up towards the ceiling. Bend your right knee and then straighten it six times. Inhale as you bend, exhale as you straighten. Inhale as you bend, exhale as you straighten. Continue just feeling how it opens the hip, it opens the twist. On this final one, when your leg becomes straight, let's take the hand that's up towards the ceiling and place it right on our sacrum and then try to twist a little further to look up towards the sky. Good, release the hand on the sacrum on the floor in front of your face and spin the free arm up towards the ceiling. Gaze up and then bend the same knee as hand is on the ground. Bend and straighten that knee. So that's your left knee. You're looking up towards the sky, bending and straightening. Just warming up the muscles of the leg. On the final time you straighten your leg, take the top arm, put that hand right on your sacrum and try to twist a little further to look up towards the ceiling. And then bend your knees, release that hand down to the ground. Toe heel your feet back into more of a wide parallel position. Clasp your elbows, your knees can be bent. We're in Uttanasana, a forward fold. Let your head rest over. Tuck your chin, feel your breath into the side ribs on the inhale. And as you exhale, navel towards the spine. Good, two more like this. Release the arms, soften the knees, slowly roll up with your hands uh, right under the, the kneecaps as you roll up. And then continue to roll up hands on the thighs, hands on the front of the body, swiping up the front of the body, reach the arms up. And then release the arms down. Good, let's do one more time. As we did a, a head circle, now we're gonna take our shoulders with us. So we're gonna, bet, you can widen your feet slightly wider than parallel. Toes point towards the front of the screen. Tuck your chin. And now when we rotate the head towards the left, we're gonna bend our knees a little bit and also take the shoulders with us. So we inhale, we go up over the top, and then we exhale. So the shoulder girdle gets to kind of swing along, almost like the circle is initiating around the sternum. Inhale on in the first part of the circle and exhale on the return. Inhale on in the first part of the circle, exhale on the return. And one more. Good, now let's reverse the direction four times, rotating first to the right, going up over the top and then returning. That looks good. One more like that. Good, and then coming back to parallel, the final thing in standing is I just want us to warm up our feet because when we do any standing work in yoga, we have to have connection to the placement of our feet. So let's just do a little prancing, which is just pointing one foot and then the other. And as you point, you're sort of springing the knee up off the floor. 
springing the knee up off the floor, pointing one foot and then the other. Point and point. So the under part of the leg is active and you're beginning to warm the muscles of the foot, strengthening the ankle. And without even knowing it now, our arms are down and we're coming to balancing because we're standing on one leg and then the other. As your knee pops up, draw your navel in towards your spine for support. Let's bring the arms up alongside the ears. And as the knee pops up to just warm the heat of our body, let's bring our hands to our knee and then release. Exhale and inhale. Now I know this is not typical for yoga, but this is gonna help the standing poses that we're connected to the supporting leg in the floor and our center body drawing in for support. Two more like this, and then we're gonna bring opposite elbow to knee. It's always an exhale as the knee and elbow touch, and then an inhale. Good, three more. Here's one, here's two, and here's three. Let's release our, our arms, stand with our feet wider than our hips, and I, I want one more thing, is just a weight shift from foot to foot. Widening the feet. When we do warrior one or two or any of the lunging, we need to feel how the feet are in the floor. Good, let's gradually walk our feet back center. Good, and we're gonna take our, ourselves down to the mat. I'm gonna move my mat a little closer in towards the screen. Okay, so now we'll be on all fours. And whenever we're on all fours or whenever I'm doing anything on the mat, when I reach towards the screen, which is I'm reaching right now towards the screen, you should also reach towards the screen. So this is my screen leg, my screen arm, and the far away one is the other side. And I would just follow that way towards the screen or away, I'll give those cues. So on all fours, looking down at your hands, see that the fingers are spread wide. Good base of support under your shoulders, knees under the hips. Wag your tail from side to side. Then center the pelvis right over the knees. And with toes curled underneath us, let's sit back towards our heels, sticking our butt up towards the sky. So we're feeling the femur bones, the thigh bones fold in the hip sockets. Then we'll inhale and shift our weight forward into a parallelogram shift until um, a parallelogram shape, our shoulders are past our middle fingers. Then we inhale, we go back and we exhale forward. <sighs> Breathe in through the nose, sit back with the tail up. We're stretching our toes and then we come forward. Good, from here now, let's uncurl our toes, press the pointed shins into the mat and cinch the waistband. High cap back position, look between the legs and draw the shoulders away from the ears. Inhale, tail goes to the sky, belly drops, heart leads forward, this is cow. Exhale, first the navel cinches up, round into cat. And inhale, tail up, belly drops, heart leads forward, cow. As we exhale into cat now, let's sit back in a child's pose, draw the elbows back towards the knees, tuck the chin, Resting with the, with the head on the ground above the forehead. So we're not crunching the cervical spine. Feel the breath widen into your back. And on the exhale, feel the weight of the pelvis dropping towards the heels. So this is restorative for the low back. One more full inhale into the side ribs. And then exhale, empty out the tailbone. On the next inhale, hands go in front of you to all fours. We'll come into the cat back position right away. 
And then bring, sift the weight of the shoulders past the middle fingers like we did before and drop the belly like cow. And then again, sit back. So we're adding the two exercises together. We're rounding into a cat back, sifting forward, and then sticking the butt up and sifting back. Rounding, we're really undulating through the spine this way and helping to open the hips and the hip flexors, the wrists. So you're rounding into the cat back, bringing the shoulders past the middle fingers and then dropping the belly and sitting back. Good. Let's now just bring the shoulders right up over the hands, feel the knees right underneath the hips and slide the, the screen leg back. Ball of the foot on the ground or on your mat. We're just gonna sift the weight forward and back. You're gonna feel a, a calf stretch when you send the weight back. Then center the shoulders right over the hands and float the screen leg up, still keeping the hips square to the mat. So this is like your warrior three. Hips are square. Good, let's reach the, the far away arm forward and spin the palm in towards the midline. Draw both shoulders away from your ears, feeling the stability that you have to balance here. Breathe in and reach your far away fingertips away from the screen toes, really reach long. And then exhale, slide that arm and leg in, change sides. Extend the far away foot behind you and flex and point till you feel a stretch through the calf and ankle. Shoulders go right over the hands, floating the far away leg up, find your hips square to the mat like, like a preparation for warrior three. Then extend your screen arm forward and spin that palm in towards the midline. The hand and knee that are on the ground are supporting us. We're feeling stability. And we'll inhale, reach opposite fingers from toes away from each other. Feel the length along the back and then slide that arm and leg in. Good. From here, let's make our low leg like a tail. Swing the tail to the screen and bend the screen elbow and look at your heels. So you're, you're C-curving your spine. You're cinching one side and stretching the other. And then change directions. So both parts of your low leg go away from the screen and you look away from the screen at that heel. One more time each side. Feel the connection between your crown of head and heel. And change. And center. Toes curled underneath you now. We're gonna feel our abdominals draw up, light cat back, and then we'll float the knees off the ground and tap them down four times. This will help us get ready to come into a down-facing dog so that we feel that we're lifting the rear up via the abdominal core muscles. Good. Rest those knees on the ground, and we'll come into a plank position. Um, Interlace fingers, elbows uh, on the floor. We're gonna walk our feet back, our knees back and our toes back, lower the pelvis. And before we lift our knees off the ground, draw your elbows towards the base of the mat. Then float the knees off the ground, one long line from the back of the head through the heels, stay zipped through your low belly. Feel the breath fully like we did in child's pose, opening the side ribs on your inhale. Exhale, navel to spine. Good, one more inhale. Exhale, navel to spine. Soften the knees to the ground, come to your hands. On all fours now, preparation for chaturanga is eight points touching. So we have our toes touching, our knees touching, and our hands touching, that's six points. Point seven and eight are our chest and chin. Our chest has to go between our hands. Our chin touches, our butt is up in the sky. Let's push straight up to strengthen the arms. So we inhale down and exhale, push up. Inhale down and exhale, push up. Keep the elbows squeezing behind your back. Inhale, so the elbows, the side arms are grazing by your rib cage. Two more. 
One more. Good, from here, just sit back a bit, arms stretch, your toes are curled underneath you, press your palms down. Toes curled underneath, look at the space between your hands. So it's a nice stretch for your upper back. And then we're gonna pounce forward like a cat. We're gonna bring the shoulders over the hands and come right into a plank. We straighten our legs and we come straight forward. And then we inhale, go back. Exhale, straight forward. Inhale, back. Exhale, it's like water is shooting out the crown of our head, like a hose that just got turned on. Exhale, shoot forward and back. Next time we stay there. Stay right here. Bring your big toes together. So we're in a plank position with our big toes together. Feel the zip of the inner thighs and let's just sift our weight forward and back. So you're pointing and flexing through the heels. Good, if you have wrist issues, you could be doing this on your forearms. Good, now we're gonna bring the knees to the ground, sit back again in a child's pose, draw your elbows towards your knees, take a nice full breath and an exhale two times. Good, from here, let's stretch our arms out in front of us like we did before, palms down. We're gonna tent our fingers, which gives us some lift, kind of like if you had a block. Come to all fours and then step your far away leg between your hands. So this will prepare us for a lunge. We're gonna bring our focus forward. We wanna make sure we can see our front toes. So our front knee is not past the toes and scoot your back knee pretty far back there so you get a really good stretch through the hip flexor and under part of the front leg. The gaze is forward. Then we exhale, straighten the front leg, flex the foot, only the heel stays on the mat and drape your torso over that leg so you're getting a hamstring stretch. Draw back with that far away hip, draw back. Inhale, bend the front knee, gaze forward and exhale, draw back, flex the foot. So we inhale into the lunge, gaze forward, and we exhale, it's a runner's lunge as we draw back, draping the torso over the leg. Now the front knee bends, and uh, we're gonna bring our arms back a little bit towards our um, base of the mat. And then if you can, you're gonna draw your arms up alongside your ears. So we're in like crescent moon. Good, then release the arms down, frame your foot. And if you can, float your back knee off the ground. So now you're in a full lunge. One more time, the knee goes down. We sweep the arms back and up, inhale. And exhale, the arms come out to the sides and then frame the foot, float the back knee. Good, let's lower the back knee now. The front leg is gonna come back. You bring that leg back. And then let's bring our hands towards the screen and drop the hips the opposite way. So we get a long stretch through the side. Let the forehead drop down to the ground. Nice full breath and an exhale two or three times here. Opening the intercostal muscles along the side of the ribs with your breath. Now we'll inhale, bring the arms forward again. And now we're gonna step the screen leg forward between our hands, frame your foot so you can see your toes, press your pelvis forward, gaze forward, the back knee scooched pretty far back there. So we're stretching very much the hip flexor of the back leg and the under part of our front leg. Then runner's lunge, you straighten your front leg, flex the foot, the toes curl off, only the heel remains on the mat. You lower down, draping the torso over the leg. Draw back with the hip of the leg that's extended. Now inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, draw back. Inhale forward. Exhale, draw back. And this is the same oscillation at the beginning of class. Like when you inhale and gaze forward, you're ultimately trying to look up at the outer sun. 
And then exhale when you gaze back at your navel, like your inner sun. Good, next time the front knee is bent, we're gonna sweep the arms back and see if you can come into a crescent moon. So the knee is on the ground, the arms are up. You can bring your arms alongside your ears and you can gaze up if you feel you can. Then spread the arms out to a T, bring the fingertips to frame your foot again. And now if you can come into a full lunge, you float the back knee off the ground. The back heel is leading back while the front knee is leading forward. Then lower the back knee, and again, arms sweep back and up for crescent moon. And exhale, release. Step the front foot back, walk your hands away from the screen, lower your hips towards the screen, long stretch through your side as you lower your forehead down. Nice full breath and an exhale two or three times. So it's like you're opening the lung tissue, you're opening those intercostal muscles like an accordion as it fills with air. Good, let's bring the hands forward now, come to all fours one more time. Feel the feet, um, the knees widen again, so the knees are right under the hips, toes curled underneath you. Draw your abdominals up like the start of cat feet back. Float your knees up using abdominals and then lift your butt up and back for a down dog. Let's pedal through our feet so you bend one knee and dip the opposite heel. Stretching the calves. You can let your hips sway from side to side. It's very important that your hand is in full contact with the floor. So make sure the base of your First finger and second finger in the palm of the hand are pressing down. Now peering down between your feet, your big toes, make them a fist distance from each other. And then let's lift both heels up on the inhale. And then on the exhale, lower them down to the mat. Again, inhale, float up. And exhale down. One more inhale, float up and exhale down. Now we're gonna inhale, float the heels up, bring the shoulders out over the hands, puffing out your back like a plank. Bring, bring your knees down to the ground and do a chaturanga. Chest goes down between your hands, then brush your belly across the floor and bring your forearms forward to sphinx pose. So your arms, your forearms are like making the shape of an 11 and you're gazing forward, your legs are extended. Good, from here we're gonna exhale, tuck the chin, look at the belly button and float the pelvis off the mat. As we do, we're looking at our knees now. Then inhale, let your pelvis lower, heart leads forward, gaze forward. Exhale, float the pelvis and look at the knees. And then one more time, lower the pelvis. From here, extend your arms out long, Forehead goes down to the floor. Widen your palms so that you're kind of like your upper arms are in a V with the palms down to the floor. Press your palms down into the floor and float your right leg off the mat and then lower it down. And then float your left leg off the mat and lower it down. One more time and as you do, be drawing your navel up to support your low back. So you're kind of feeling like you're drawing your belly button away from the mat. Finishing from here, we're going to, um, um, we're gonna place, bend our elbows and bring our hands in line with our shoulders and then bring our hands right under our shoulders and press up into more of an active Sphinx pose and then lower back down. So you press your belly down, you press the pubic bone down, you draw your belly up, you float your forehead, face, and chest, press into your arms, and then lower down. Good, from here, bend your, uh, curl your toes underneath you, lift your butt up off the floor a little bit with your knees on the floor, and then push up. Sit back like child's pose, arms extended. Look at the space between your hands and shoot forward into a plank as we did before. Bring your big toes together. We're gonna to bring our right knee in towards our nose and extend out to plank. Then our left knee comes in. We touch our nose to our knee. 
and we extend to plank. Right knee comes into the nose and extend and change sides. I could be saying far away knee and close knee, meaning in direction to the screen. Good. Let's soften the knees to the ground. Walk our hands back. Widen your knees just a bit. Curl your toes underneath you. And we're going to see if we can come to slide our hands up along our front of the pelvis. So we're on our knees, we lift the arms up alongside our ears. Good. From here, we'll exhale, return the arms down and place the hands behind the sacrum, press the pelvis forward, squeeze the elbows together and gaze up. So this brings the spine into extension again. This would be a preparation for camel pose. On the exhale, let's grow tall. Hands to the floor again. All fours, float your knees up via your abdominals and then come into a down-facing dog again. Find your best down-facing dog. From your best down-facing dog, let's stay there with the heels anchored and take three or four full breaths. This pose is very powerful because it stimulates the nerve channels along the spine, waking up the energy. Good, from here we're gonna walk our hands towards our feet and our feet towards our hands. And then I'm going to flip to face the mirror now, still hanging over in a, I mean, not the mirror, the, the uh, screen, still hanging over in a forward fold. Good, then I'm going to uh, lift my heels a little bit as I sit down all the way into a squat, lift the heels, let your pelvis go all the way down. And we're gonna bounce the sit bones up and down over the heels. Let your head rest over. And then still that bouncing. And we will walk our hands back and extend our legs forward. Good, from here, let's notice if we can bring our big toes a fist distance from each other, line our heels with our butt bones. And um, we'll place our fingertips towards the screen and the heels come in towards the sit bones, press the pelvis up into a table. Warm up the back of the legs, feel the pelvis really moving up towards the ceiling without squeezing your rear together. Good, and then something that's really nice to do is to drop the pelvis a little bit and just shake out the, any tight muscles in the rear. And then still that motion and press up. This is a shoulder opener as well as stretching or strengthening the hamstrings. Then we're gonna lower the pelvis down and let's extend the legs forward. Let's sweep the arms forward and then trace a little bit of a pattern on the floor with your fingers while you wave the body forward and round up. Exhale as you go over, look at your belly and then roll up. You can do this with your knees bent, that's fine. Exhale and inhale. One more, exhale and inhale. Good, so I'd like to do just a little bridging on our back. So again, just as we did, you're laying down on your back, heels in line with your Butt bones, just like we did for that table, arms down by your sides, press into your feet and lift your pelvis up towards the ceiling without squeezing your butt together. Press very high up and relax any tendency to squeeze in your rear. Good, then as we lower our pelvis to the ground, let's bring our arms up to the ceiling and place the back of the wrist down on the floor above our head. 
And then exhale, press into your feet, lift your pelvis, reach your fingers up towards the ceiling, and then all the way reaching towards your heels. Three more times like this. The pelvis lowers as the arms go up over the head. Exhale, the arms come forward as the pelvis lifts. Two more like that, continuing. Good, the next time the pelvis is up, I'd like you to keep the pelvis up and bring the arms up over your head until the back of the wrist touch the floor. So the pelvis is high up, the back of the wrists are on the floor. Now send your knees towards your toes and lower down through your spine one vertebra at a time like a chain. It should feel good as you lower down and you rest the pelvis on the ground. Good, then on the exhale, float your knees off the ground by lifting your feet up and grab your knees. Hug your knees in towards your chest, widen your knees a little wider than the hip joints, and press the knees into the hands so much that your arms straighten, you tuck your chin, and you lift up and press your kidney point down to the floor. Then lower down and draw your knees in towards your chest. Two more like that, exhale, arms straighten, the knees draw you up, press the kidney point down, and then return. Good. Now, lowering down, let's grab the screen leg knee in towards your chest and extend the other leg away. Deep hip flexor stretch. Release that knee, bring your arms up over your head into the back of the um, interlaced fingers, touch the floor and change sides. Exhale, draw the other knee in, bind with your arms, but bind with your hands. Feeling the fold of the femur bone deep in the hip socket. The free leg is extended long and release. Exhale, change knees, draw in. and release, and change sides, draw in, and release. Now we'll do an abdominal strengthener, the head stays on the ground. On the exhale, bring both knees in and put your hands on the knees. Push the knees away and bring your arms up over your head while the legs lower. So it's simultaneous coordinated movement. Exhale, the knees come in, and then you push the knees away, and as the legs lower, your arms come over your head. Three more like that, exhale in, and inhale, slow return. And the head stays on the ground here. Exhale in, the knees come in, you, you touch your knees and then you push them away. You push the legs away, there's a slow lower to the ground. One more, exhale in, and return. Good, let's bring the soles of the feet together with the knees open wide like a butterfly. Place your hands behind your head with your elbows wide. Supporting the skull with your thumbs really digging into the base of the, the skull. You're gonna exhale and float up, lifting your head, neck and shoulders off the ground, reaching to where the wall and ceiling come together and taking a breath and an exhale. Then place your hands behind your head and lower on the inhale. So there's no tightness in the neck or throat we're supporting our head, we exhale, come up, we reach to the wall and ceiling, take a breath and an exhale, hands behind the head, inhale as you lower, two more like that, float up and reach, take a breath and an exhale, and lower on the inhale, and float up and reach, take a breath and an exhale, and slow lower, Head is on the ground now. You're gonna reach around and grab the outside of your thighs and join them together into a box shape called tabletop. The knees are right over the pubic bone. The shins are parallel to the ceiling. The arms go out to a T with the back of the wrists on the ground. Knee drop side, the scapula stay on the floor and on the inhale, the knees are gonna move away from the screen and your hip that, um, towards the screen lifts off. 
On the exhale, use your waistband to draw the leg center. Then inhale, the knees drop towards the screen. They're away from screen, hip lifts off. And then you use your waistband muscles to draw the leg center. So you inhale as you drop and you exhale as you return. We're finding our oblique abdominals. And this is also a twist for the spine. Continue with the motion and make sure that the driving force here are the muscles of the center body and not the legs. You're not moving from the legs. The scapula stay on the floor, one hip does lift off. Good, and then let's hug both knees in towards the chest. Good, hugging the knees in towards the chest. Um, we're gonna come into happy baby pose, first flexing the feet, widening the legs, and then reaching on the outside of your ankles to pull down on the flexed feet. Then try to glue your tailbone down to the floor so we're stretching around your butt bone. Nice full breath and an exhale. Let's inhale, feel the back widen on the floor. And on your exhale, imagine you could send the air out your tailbone. Again, inhale, feel the back widen on the mat. And then exhale like you're sending the breath out your tailbone. Good, from here, release that hold of the feet. Put your um, both feet on the floor with the knees up. Cross your far away leg um, so the ankle comes across for a cross four stretch. So most of you know what a cross four stretch is. If you don't know, you can look towards the screen. Then you're gonna float the foot that's on the ground off and grab under your thigh. Keep the low back anchored to the floor and we're stretching deep into the hip. Let's circle our ankles while we're here. and reverse the circle. Still that motion, stay here a little bit longer, really deepening into that piriformis stretch and release. Changing sides, change the foot that's on the ground and the ankle that crosses over, really widen the knee so you've got a good four shape. And when the foot that's on the ground floats off, the, off you can hold underneath on your shin or behind your thigh, glue the low spine to the mat and feel your breath. Releasing that leg to the ground now, let's gather both knees in towards our chest. On the exhale, bend our elbows, tuck our chin, bring our nose up towards our knees. So we're in a really tight ball, really tight ball. Then extend your arms and legs straight up to the ceiling. And then like a star exploding, you're gonna slowly lower all the way down to the floor. Exhale like a snow angel, sweep your arms around, grab your knees, nose comes up to the knee, head is off the mat, little ball. Then reach the arms and legs to the ceiling and slowly lower down like a star exploding. So we're using core muscles here. Two more, exhale, snow angel, gather in. Reach the arms and legs slowly, like a slow snowflake falling down lower. One more, exhale, reach up and slow lower. Lay in this capital letter X position. Stretch the far away arm. We're stretched through the diagonal. So stretch your far away arm and the opposite toe, like you're you know, really being pulled and release, and now stretch this, the arm that's closest to the screen and the leg that's furthest away, stretch through that diagonal and release. Good, we'll now um, find ourselves in a position for Shavasana. Bring your arms down so the palms are up and there's a little breath under the armpits. The legs are as wide as the base of the mat and they naturally drape open. And we'll close our eyes and use these last moments of class to really drop in. We'll feel our breath. 
And I'm just turned to a song that's quite beautiful. And I want you to feel your breath align in with the song. So dropping deeply down into the floor, being supported by this phenomenon of gravity. Let the attention drop so inwards, relaxing the muscles on the outer surface of the body, relaxing the skin, The jaw is soft. The energy releases out along the legs, through the feet. The energy releases out distally, out the arms, through the fingertips. As you breathe, you feel the wash of the breath through the full center body up towards the head and then releasing out like exhaling out the tailbone now place your left hand on your heart center and your right hand on your low abdomen with the elbows resting down to the floor take two full breaths and just feel the breath under your hands. And then when you're ready, roll to whichever side is more comfortable. Make sure to roll first to a fetal position before you come up to sit. Before you sign off, if you have a moment to sit, just a moment. So sitting with the legs and whatever comfortable we can, whatever position we can sit right up on our butt bones. Maybe it's out like this, maybe it's like this. Maybe the legs can be folded, but what we wanna make sure is that our low back is not just slumped back, but that we've got, a, a, we've got our lumbar curve. And in a receptive position, let's just close the eyes, feel the length of the spine and sitting. And I know our class is closing, but I just wanna take two full breaths here. joining the hands together in front of the heart center, the contact of the hands centering us. We'll bring the base of the thumbs to touch in front of the sternum, slightly tuck the chin. And when we flutter open our eyes, we're in the perfect position to finish with the salutation, traditional greeting, the essence and light that we each share and we can come together and have a practice where we're connecting with our most inner selves. So thank you so much, namaste. So I might have had my volume a little bit messed up on this. I was trying my best. There's a lot of technical things and Hopefully some of you did get volume correct. And if you're able to send me a note, either in the chat box here or by email, that would be really awesome because then I'm able to have feedback for the next class. Have a wonderful day, everyone. And I can unmute you even so we can all say goodbye. Thank you, Katie. You're unmuted. Thank you, Thank you so you, much. Katie. Oh, wait, one second here. Let me just turn this. Yes. Okay, can you can you talk to me? Thank you, Katie. Thank you, Katie. Thank you. Thanks, Katie. Thank you so much. Good can anyone volume. tell Walk me? Thank you, Katie. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. If anyone if anyone wants to stay on and tell me anything about the technology, I'm more than more than receptive <laughs> great job it was really good thank you oh okay great and you're what's your name 
Kim. Oh, it's Kim. Hi, Kim. Hey, Katie. Hi. Take care. Great Take care. Bye. Thank okay, you. great. Bye. Hi, Meredith. Thank, thank you, Katie. It was wonderful. Okay. Thank you, Meredith. Bye. Bye-bye. Take care.